So by the end of this video, you're going to have to decide if you are an Agent Smith or if you are a Neo. Let me give you the characteristics. And Agent Smith is not desperate to exit his nine to five. He also supports the Matrix by working, um, voting for corruption and only consuming. He also believes in a YOLO lifestyle, has dreams of being rich and is cool with making a mediocre extra five to ten thousand dollars per month now a neo on the other hand has uh made the job exodus already or plans to reject uh the matrix by not working the nine to five or voting for corruption he has a producer mindset a creator mindset and actions plus he profit recycles meaning the money that he makes he puts back into his dreams his goals his businesses and things that can project them forward okay so now also he rejects the low, the YOLO lifestyle and leverages wealth um, systems for future generations. And last but not least, he understands that dreams of being rich is selfish and weak. He also has a purpose and a mission that cannot put a number to satisfactory wise. Okay, so is that you? So this is the Tapalti website, Tapalti.com, and this page is called Profit Per Second. I'm about to show you something amazing, and hopefully, Lord willing, it will change your life, help you expand your mind, stop putting a number on yourself, because that is literally putting a slave tag or a prison number on you, okay? So check this out. We have Apple, Microsoft, Berkshire, Hathaway, Alphabet, which is Google, Meta uh, Platform. So watch this. Okay, so right here, it has the most profitable companies ranked. As you can see, number one in the lead is Apple. I want you to see their annual profit, okay? So so you, you, some of you guys are talking about, uh, yo, Yazreel or David are going on YouTube and looking like, yo, how can I make an extra five to $10,000 per month? You're literally admitting that you just, you're cool with being average. You're cool with being mediocre. You don't want to achieve anything that can help your future generations or even your family out. You just want to, you know, drink more, party more, sleep more or whatever the BS is. The reason is selfish. I just know it is if you just want an extra five to $10,000 per month. So check this out. Apple, using the principles of leverage and compounding, like I told you guys the other day, they make an annual profit of $57 billion. 57, I mean, man, this is crazy. All right, $57 billion, okay? That equates to $1,820 per second. Like most of the people watching this right now doesn't, that the, most of y'all don't even make that per month, especially not with your like entrepreneurship ventures and stuff like that. Most of you guys, have to work like overtime and stuff at the nine to five jobs that you have in order to make that. Now, this is not me bashing you. This is me showing you how a difference in mindset can free you, okay? In, in certain aspects, it can free you. So that's my goal to help you guys free yourself, all right? Like, dude, if it's people, if I know it's people making my paycheck in a second, like I'm doing something wrong, especially if I'm on my mid thirties, forties, fifties, and all of that extra stuff. You might think you're too old, but you're not. Don't forget the Kentucky fried, uh, fried chicken dude uh, stole that recipe. I mean, <clears throat> um, became successful with that <laughs> food chain in his uh, late fifties or sixties or something like that. All right. So don't think you're too old. This still applies to you. So 1820, $1,800 per second. They make $109,000 Per minute profit. Now, this is why you're not going to see me anymore with videos talking about uh, how you can make an extra 5,000, 10,000, 100,000 or anything like that. In the grand scheme of things, this is penny candy money. This is stuff. This is spit. This is crap. You understand what I'm saying? Like the, the remember in, in heaven, the streets are paved with gold. And these people seem to understand that. Your mind levels up. You have to have a mind progression, a mental progression. You know, you go through evolution and everything in your mind in order to make $109,000 per minute, okay? I had to show you guys this. I believe that as entrepreneurs, it will be good. Like, let's increase the traffic on this page right here. As entrepreneurs, 
this should be probably part of your morning routine so that you don't get into this uh, 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 this mindset where you're, you're okay settling, you get complacent, uh, you feel like you've already achieved and, 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 and there's nothing else you can do financially and all of that. Now, everybody's goals and, and, and gifts are not attached to uh, uh, money or whatever. So for those of you who, who are like that, then whatever, go ahead, whatever. But I'm talking about you guys that are trying to make money. All right, you guys are trying to make money. Remember, he gave you a gift and you shouldn't be done until you're empty with that gift. And, and so most of the time, these big corporations, these companies and your so-called Illuminati understands that you guys have a number. So you, you might have a, a gift or an idea in your mind for a platform that could get you this over here, $57 billion, but they'll approach you with this right here. And since you never had that much money at once, like, yo, we're going to give you a raise. Uh, you're going to go from 50, making $60,000 a year next year with this new raise and this new position. Uh, you're going to be making $109,000 a year. And you're like, yo, that's crazy. Hey, I'm staying here. I was going to go work on my dream. I was going to go build this company that can be something awesome and maybe even make this list right here. But I get a guaranteed comfortable $109,000 salary if I stay with this slave. I mean, this plantation, I mean, this, this job, right? Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, they will pay you to dumb you down. Money is nothing but a tool. Don't forget that, y'all. Like money is a defense, like the scripture says, and they're trying to defend that 1%. You understand? They don't want you in there because if you're in there, then it ain't the 1% no more, is it? OK, so they will pay you whatever they got to pay you to keep you on the clock. Don't be sleep like, you know, hiding your senses, become lethal with your skill, your craft, and then apply the leverage. All right. First position yourself, then leverage, start to leverage others so that you can profit, recycle and compound. That's how they get to these numbers. And this is what I'm working on right here. I don't have a specific number. This, this, even this right here for what my goal is, what I'm trying to do, I mean, I, it's more of a spiritual thing. It's going to take money because we live in this world, this realm right here of wickedness, but I, I can't put a number on it. Even if somebody approached me with this right here, I, I wouldn't be able to be satisfied Like if my goal wasn't complete. Now, if I made that with my goal or something, whatever, maybe that's what God wanted from me. But if somebody tried to buy me out with that or on some, on some trying to get me to sell out type BS or some type of job, some type of slave deal type situation, no, no, guys. My point is don't have some, some random number. Or, or a lot of you guys have been programmed. You don't even know what it's like to have five or $10,000 extra a month. What if that doesn't do too much for you? What if your family is big? What if you just like, man, extra five, 10,000? You don't know. You know what I'm saying? And what if you haven't been programmed to know how to handle extra money either? What if you just going to blow it on alcohol or drugs or, or, or more lust or something? You don't know. So first, you need to elevate your mind and your spirit first. You know what I'm saying? That's what you should do, right? But then you need to stop being a good slave to master, just grateful for the scraps. Extra five, ten thousand dollars a month to a person that's making a hundred nine thousand dollars a minute. I'm like, yo, if if this is this, then why they give us a raise? Oh, if this is slavery still, why they give me a raise? Because they making a hundred nine thousand dollars per minute. You think your little fifty dollars an hour hurts them? It's still the slave plantation. Yeah, you getting a nickel, baby, and a bag of rice. You hear me? You getting a nickel and a bag of rice compared to this. Some of us needed to see this site today. Some of us needed to see this site today. I mean, come on, dude. You understand what I'm talking about? Six point five million dollars per hour. You ran home to your lovely wife, happy that you finally got bumped up to $25 an hour. And then if you work overtime, you get paid time and a half. So you go out there and you sign on a new lease for a new whip and you just super happy. You get ready to accumulate more new expenses and bills and crap that's going to jack you up later on and everything. <laughs> wow, the ones 
that are controlling the companies that you just lease the car from and, and, and your phone and your computers and all of that are making $6.5 million before you can even drive the car home or pick up the phone you just bought to dial somebody or stroll TikTok, but you still want an extra five to 15 or $10,000? You still cool with that per month? When like, dude, you were created in the image of the most high God. He created the world in less than seven days. But your goal is to, you're, in, you're made in his image. Let's get that clear. But your goal is to make an extra five. That, your miracle, it will be a miracle. It will be part in the Red Sea if you made an extra five or $10,000. Your name is going to be written in the history books for making an extra 10. That's going to be on your tombstone when you die, making an extra five or $10,000 when you were meant for way more than that, guys. This is why on this channel, I teach you guys asset ownership because dude, is <laughs> you understand? Like you can't pass down rich. You can pass down wealth, but you can't pass down rich. Extra five or $10,000 a month might get you rich around the, no offense, but bums around, <laughs> you know, that, that you can go and stunt on your brothers. Like we've been raised to like stunt on each other and stuff, yeah on other people, crab in a bucket mentality. Yeah, you look rich to them. But step in a room with real wealth, old money, the people that own your great, great, great grandpa, step in a room with those type of people. And you're going to realize you got chump change, okay? That's why when I look at, I mean, even when I look at these numbers, I know it's people that, that spit on numbers like this that might not be on this list. So I, none of this satisfies me. You have to get to a point where, because our, our glory is otherworldly, but you still need to realize, yo, you meant for way more, an extra five to $10,000 a month, that's crazy. Some of you guys saying that to me are 10, 20 years older. It reminds me of when I was working my nine to five job. I was the youngest dude there at Metro. I was driving the buses, uh, the city buses in St. Louis. I was 24. That's when I, I, I quit, you know, when, when I quit my job, 2014. Uh, and I remember telling them I was about to get ready to quit my job. I remember making my first website. It was a mail enhancement, a mail enhancement website. And I was goofy as a mug. I was trying to promote it by doing this Bruno Mars cover uh, when I was your man. <laughs> I was singing it, but I was replacing the words with like male enhancement type stuff, trying to go viral on some old school stuff before everybody was doing that stuff now, right? Uh, <laughs> but I remember going to work and I was super excited because it was a lot of old heads there that I looked up to at the time. And I was like, yo, how many years y'all all been here? And, you know, they'll tell me how many years they've been there, 30 years, you know, blah, 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 20 years. Ooh, a couple more years, I'll be retiring. I can get my pension and all of this extra stuff. I'm like, y'all, all of that experience and stuff. I say, why don't we start our own? Why don't we quit this crap? Because all they do in there is complain about when they going to get a raise or, or what's going to happen with the pension or should we go on strike and stuff. So obviously these old heads ain't happy. Nobody there is happy. So I'm like, yeah, I got all this experience. Why don't we quit and start our own transportation company? Yeah, you know, we're not going to be some big company like Bi-State Development or Metro yet in the first years or whatever. But with all this experience that we got, like, dude, we can really do something, right? Man. It was a hell no nah with all them. That's our leaders. That's our elders. <laughs> That's what we got, right? So I'm like, yo, they like, yo, brother, we about to get, we about to get this raise, brother. You, you, you know what I'm saying? It ain't too many jobs that's good out there like this. And you only 24, you, you know, brother, by the time you turn 40, this, 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 and that, and this, I'm let down. Almost at the point where I want to cry a tear for that little butt. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, wow, I did not expect these old heads to say that. The slave mentality. They like, dude, brother, you about to be making 20 something dollars an hour just driving a bus. This, this, this. You ain't going to find too much out there like this without a degree and all of that. And I'm like, $20 an hour? At that age, I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, $20, $20 an hour? This is... This is what y'all bickering back and forth about and crying about. You understand? Like, it was never my intention to stay here. 
I always thought I was going to do music, but I ended up getting caught up in that job. But they're like, y'all cool with this $20 an hour stuff. So it, it kind of let me down. I was like, yo, and that's the mentality that y'all are having when you, when you cool with an extra five or $10,000 a month, when you can do so much greater, you can, you can like far exceed expectations of yourself and everybody else around you. You can be you can be exalted by the most high God because you lived in your purpose and you, you've you helped so many people. You ain't helping nobody with an extra $5,000 but yourself. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. An extra $5,000 with the food going up, with the gas going up, with hell happening, with fake diseases going out and campaigns and crap, your car taking everything, your rent and every time and your lust. The things that you want to buy that you put on your shopping list and all that, what's the extra $5,000 going to do? But make me mad, right? So like, guess what? If you have a purpose and you hone your skills and your craft and you become valuable to an industry or to a market or whatever, you create a product. God is the creator and he created us to be creators. So if you create something and you make it unique, you put in this position it unique, you're going to surpass $5,000 a month just accidentally. Like you, it, it won't even be a thought in your mind. Like you wouldn't be able to make $5,000 a month if you tried. See, the problem is you sitting here being clones of mediocre people, clones of people that are afraid, clones of people that think if they stand out, they're going to get whipped like we was on the plantation still. You're clones of that. If you just want an extra five or fifteen thousand dollars an hour, and we gotta wake up from that. Like majority of you guys watching this right now are men, and it's gonna be sad what's happening because it's gonna be our fault when the next generation is in worse conditions than we are. I mean, but we're taught YOLO, right? We're taught you only live once, care about myself. Oh, that's on them. I don't know them Negroes. Like they, I hope they figure it out. That's what we're taught. So we want our sons and their sons to still be filling out job applications to master's corporation or plantation from the freaking 1700s. We still want that. We still cool with that. That's what you want. You want your great, great grandson to fill out a job application at, at the, from, the, from the 1700s if you want an extra five or $15,000. When I seen this, I mean, I already knew about this type of stuff. But it was just on my spirit this morning because like I was talking about it on one of the classes uh, when we went live the other day. I was talking about doing, you know, you want to be the CEO, but you're still doing janitor's uh, activities. You're still doing the janitor's job and everything like that. And I was talking about how I'm going through process of elimination of my daily activities, like as far as, you know, doing SEO, as far as uh, answering customers or any of that type of stuff like that. You know, I'm going to condense my my workload calls down to just doing press, just doing interviews. That's all I'm going to be doing. And then I'll be able to outsource that as well. Have a spokesperson. That's that's what these dudes do right here. They're not scraping emails and doing DM outreach or cold calling or doing none of that stuff. Those are janitors job. And that's that'll get you your extra five, ten thousand dollars a month. You can send out a thousand emails and potentially get a couple of uh, clients to pay you two, two to five thousand dollars a month. Boom. You got you got that. You give them your, the SEO, the Facebook ads and all the boom. You 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 met that. That's easy. If that's what you want. I'd rather be the freaking home advisor. I'd rather be the Angie's list where we send them leads in bulk. I own the platform. They come to me. Because I'm properly positioned as the one that helps the home uh, uh, or the uh, service-based businesses. They come to me instead of me scraping emails and doing outreach. They come to me because I'm positioned. I own the platform. I can actually sell it if I want to. Do you see what I'm saying? You see the difference between a 5 to 15K mental and a freaking 5 to 15K per day? I mean, uh, per hour type. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, look, just look at the page, man. <laughs> Just look at the page. And even if, even though we start going like to the lower, you know, uh, less making Qualcomm's like uh, when I was a truck driver, Qualcomm, that would be in every single truck. Like our trips would come in there. Uh, you know, some of the some of them we would have to, uh, 
you know, uh, we put our trips in there. We accept our trips over the road and we will get like our payment information and all of that stuff will be in there, information about the load calls and all of that. That stuff will be in there. It was in every freaking truck. I remember like if you didn't have that mug on, if you got stopped by DOT, you can get freaking written up and it could be on your DAC report. Correct me if I'm wrong. So this company right here, they make $14 million a day just by leveraging. Pay attention, focus. Look at this. Is a whole crap load of, of, of trucking companies out there. They literally said, all right, what is issues happening with the trucking company? Okay, uh, dispatch sending uh, trips to their drivers. Their drivers are all on the road and stuff like that. They might not be able to get them on the call, on the phone, do the mountains and all of this or whatever, the blah, blah, blah. So they created the call comm system. You know, I'm now I'm not sure if that's why it was created totally, you know, but I just know from my experience of what was happening when I was out there, right? Our trips would come in through there. We wouldn't even have to call the base at all. Like it's super convenient. And they put them mugs in every freaking truck. And there's a crazy amount of trucks out there. So position yourself as something unique and valuable. I told you guys, the formula works no matter what industry. Position yourself as something unique. They created Qualcomm system. Then you leverage others. They said, hmm, where can we put this where it would take on the life of its freaking own? All these truck companies with huge fleets. And then when these trucking companies hear that these trucking companies are using it, everybody's going to want to use it. Boom. I mean, look, that's what I'm on this year, y'all. I mean, we, if you want to stay mediocre, you can do that, man. But like, I'm just trying to let y'all know, man. <laughs> if you if you desire to stay mediocre, this is who you desire to be. You're desiring to assist the matrix, the matrix, the so-called Illuminati that y'all so afraid of, the ones that run the world that create this, these oppressive systems to keep us in our place and keep us down and keep us from not living a life of freedom. This is who you are supporting. So you are an agent Smith before he was imprinted on and wanted freedom. You support the system. You wanted to keep going. You wanted to keep oppressing. Them. But if this video has changed you in any way, I, I pray it did like change. You know, it's going to take some action. There is no cash in without action. But if you resonate with this right here, you know, and you, or you want to resonate with this right here, we have the June 17th uh, launch coming up for the uh, the Money Highways Ranking Bank SEO course, okay? In this SEO course, we will be monetizing assets that we own. We're not going to be uh, working for somebody else. We're not going to be getting clients or doing any of that stuff. We're going to be creating assets or having them created for us. We're going to be ranking them. We're going to be monetizing them 15 different ways, hopefully one day maybe one day end on, up on some type of chart like this. I ain't guaranteeing nothing. But link in the description, first pin comment or flashing across the screen to join the wait list for that. It's up to you. I'm not going to do any pitches or hard sales or try to convince or persuade you guys. I got all of them in my arsenal. I know how to sell. I don't want to because nobody should have to spoon feed or baby grown men into becoming better. The Bible says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. That's all I'm trying to help all of us do. Because guess what? If you on here looking for an extra five to $15,000 a month, your daddy, I'm sorry, didn't care or know, I ain't going to say he did it on purpose, didn't care or know enough to leave an inheritance for his children's children. So break the dang on cycle.